skip a change of scenery might be in order. Yeah. In my 14 years, I've never seen a guy lose respect of the locker room, lose the locker room, and get it back. It's just hard. Because once that has happened, the guys have a perception of you, of what you are and what they think you can become. And maybe a change of scenery. Skip, he's only 23 years of age, so it's not a lost cause. But maybe New York is a bit much, is a, l- a little bit too much for him to handle right now, Skip. And you say, well, it's not a benching. In order for you to get that spark, what did you have to do to Zach, uh, to, uh, Zach Wilson? Mm. You had to put benching. Yeah. So that's exactly what it was. The dude had a 5.2 QBR last night, Skip. And they did nothing when he was in the game. The moment that backup quarterback got in, everybody took off. It was like, oh, yeah, th- now we got a chance. It's like when he's on the field, they don't even believe they got a chance. That's why quarterback can matter. They got nice pieces around him. They got a tremendous defense. But that joker right there doing what he did, Mm -hmm. you can't overcome that, Skip. Mm -hmm. There's not even the 2,000 Ravens couldn't overcome play like that. No. Because he puts the ball in harm's way. And I'm just like, bro, what are you doing? And you look at his numbers, Skip. His numbers are eerily similar. I'm not saying he's going to be Jamarcus Russell. But uh, Zach Wilson is 8-14 and win-loss. Russell was 7-15. and A 70 passer rating. Zach had 15 touchdowns. Jamarcus Russell had 16. One average 6.4 yards uh, per attempt. The other 6.3. He might turn out to be an okay quarterback, but he might need to leave, get on the Greyhound bus, and leave New Depart, New York City. Skip, New York isn't for everybody. Yeah, it can make you the bright life, Broadway, Skip, <laughs> ooh, the big Madison Avenue. It has a lot to offer, but it'll gobble you up. Yep. They, when you have the Yankees, you've had teams, that, New York teams that have had success, and Jets have always kind of been the back fiddle to the Giants. Mm-hmm. But, Skip, this, this right here, man, this won't get it done. It, this will mm-hmm. get you fired. And I think the mistake that they made, Skip, from the very first time that this guy, this young man declared for the draft, Trevor Lawrence was one, he was two. I'm like, y'all ain't going to do no evaluation. Y'all not going to look at any other quarterback. Y'all believe he's that good? Yeah, Skip, I saw him in his, his pro day, man. He running around throwing that thing like my homes. He throwing it 85 yards underhand. Through one. I'm like, whoa. Yep. He tricked the Jets. Mm. He tricked them. He got them right now. He found him out playing quarterback in the NFL is a lot different than playing at BYU. Yep. Skip, he might just have to take his show on the road. Because I don't know if he's going to be able to get back in the locker room and regain the confidence of the guys in that locker room because he's clearly lost it. Mm-hmm. I agree. But I don't blame him as much as I blame them, as in their front office. Because okay. to your point, before that draft, we, you and I would we, go back and forth, and we kept saying, it's a done deal. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody reported from moment number one The Jets have homed in on Zach Wilson, and they are going to take him no matter what. And I'm thinking, no matter what? What? And they did. Everybody was exactly right because they just telegraphed it. They just said, no, we we want that kid. Right. Okay. So at least I first guessed this before the draft because I told you I don't love him. I watched him, I don't know, maybe five times at BYU. And he had a little bit of farve in him. He runs around and flings it and sort of closes his eyes. And, oh, they caught it. Yeah. And what a play that mm-hmm. was. But as far as consistently operating at quarterback, as far as consistent poise and accuracy and vision and, and trustability, I, cu- I couldn't see it consistently. He would just pull off a wow play and you'd say, wow. Right. Okay. Well, did the Jets fall for the wow factor? They did. I guess so. They uh, did. Okay, what what what's hard for me when we're trying to evaluate the kids going into the draft? I don't live with them, so I'm not around them. I don't know what they're made of exactly. I can only see it on television. Correct. Well, obviously, his leadership leads much to be desired Correct. because his intangibles are low because he feels like he's kind of a solo act. Mm-hmm. The the first is like the week after he got drafted. It, it seemed like I, I look up and he's taking a bunch of his offensive linemen to a Devils game, a New Jersey Devils game, and I'm thinking, okay, well that's yeah. that's a good yeah, start. Yeah. And then what? I don't know. It seemed like it was all for show <laughs> because then the rest of it, it it just <clears throat> didn't click. Kids can struggle at quarterback. But once they've kind of won over the veterans, yes. the veterans will yes. hang with yes. them, man. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because I was a Trey Lance guy going into the draft. 
Trey Lance has won his locker room. Unfortunately, he hasn't won the job right. because he just keeps getting hurt. And Correct. if he keeps getting hurt, that's going to be as big a problem for the Shanahan's as this kid is for the, the right. Jets in a very different way. Correct. But in, in Trey Lance, I saw huge intangibles. I saw leadership. I, I saw high character. I saw Jim Rat. I saw huge arm. I saw legs that can work in Kyle's system. I, I love that. And and I was I was first guessing him, and then the Shanahan's validated me because they traded a right. ton to go get him. Yes. Okay? Well, I, I would still consider his – now, again, I think we were both – Trevor Lawrence, we were like, yep, oh, that, yeah, that yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, I mean, three-year starters, Kip, you win a national championship. They lose – I mean, they lose, and then they lose really bad in the national championship. Yep. But for that kid, you can see, okay – how do you Shannon, I, I would see clips of him in high school yes. and I'd say, really? Yeah. Six, what, 6'6, six, 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 six. 235, yep. big time arm. Really? He has more athleticism than you think for someone his I, size. Skip, I think the thing is with him. Everybody starts saying he can make Mahomian throws. Mm -hmm. He can make and everybody got, oh, he can make throws like Mahomes. Ooh, mm. He gonna be Mahomes. No, he's not. So he wound up at the wrongest place at the wrongest time last night because it was raining. Yes. And it was windy. Yes. And you saw what Dougie P, your man, Doug Peterson, comes in and just says, I I'm not really going to risk this. I'm going to ask my quarterback in my running game to try to take this yes. game over because he let he, he was calling plays for him. He right. would uh, Trevor Lawrence ran it seven, seven times, times for 51 yards. Yes. And I, I was pretty surprised by that, but they ended up running at 147. Right. Okay, look, look, talking about wrong place, wrong time. Look what the Jets ran the ball except for the, the third stringer who came in, the CFL refugee, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Look, they had 12, I'm sorry, 11 rushes for 12 yards except for Strebler who came in and had nine for 54. Right. Okay, so when, when Zach's in there, they're not running the ball at all. You can't because they don't respect them to throw the football, right. so they just load the ball. <laughs> saying, okay, you just can't throw, throw it. And yeah. it looks, it, it looks just bad. looks dismal. It, it just looks lost cause. And but he what, looks lost. He is, you, he's do, lost you, do you, you see him? How, 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 how big his eyes yeah. is? Yeah. Are? Yeah, I I agree. So now you, you know he's had a few moments where he'd have a game. We'd say right. okay because right. he got a nice arm, and it, it it's not producing. Enough. No. And and now he's lost his confidence. He's lost his locker room. He's probably lost his front office. And they're stuck. Would somebody trade much for him? I doubt it. Well, you're not going to – well, yeah. I mean, you didn't have to give up anything for him. But, Skip, it sets you back so far. It's just You can terrible. miss on a lot of positions, it's Skip. It's terrible. And you're able to get it back because yeah. you can go in agency and get the guy. Or, you yeah. know, or sometimes you have a guy in a later round. But, Skip, if you miss on that guy, yeah. man, it sets you back so far. And it looks so bad last night because he's up against the guy who went number one, exactly. right? And it just looks even worse. Well, the comparison's going to be there. Uh, Anytime you have quarterbacks that come in the same draft, yeah. the, the comparison's going to be there, right. fair or unfair. Yeah. And by the way, speaking of Trevor Lawrence, he has easy mobility. He's yeah. a long strider, but once he gets going, he, he can get yeah. going. The only thing that started to concern me about him last night was he's got Josh Allen in him. He, he, he doesn't really love sliding. He's, he's going to run through people. <laughs> oh, he's going to attempt to. Yeah, and, and he stood in the pocket. There was 349 left in the game, and they're in a – I know it was just, what, 16-3, to three, but right. it felt like it was 60-3 to three at that point <laughs> because of the weather. And, and every time he took off running, I'd say, oh, that, that looked good. And then all of a sudden, sh shouldn't you slide? You're going to slide? <laughs> nope, nope, I'm not going to slide. I'm just going to run through people. Yes. Okay? That's what Josh Allen does. I, I promise you know better than anybody. Yeah. You're just not going to last in this you're league a, you're doing ask, that. You're asking for trouble. Okay. Because I think they got they got solid pieces. Uh, I mean, it was a little hard to tell. I mean, they got a fluky situation last night where the uh, Garrett Wilson has the ball and Ola Kuhn kicks, 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 it, out, it, kicks yeah. it out of his head. I mean, the skip, that's when you know, like, you know what, guys? Hey, no, we, we, hey, today, tonight, there's a lost cause. The dude kicked the ball out of my hand. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen that I before. Have, I juked him out of I juked him out of his yeah. out of his cleats, and he somehow he got his foot up and kicked the ball out of my hand. Okay, and it pops up in there, and they catch right it in midair. There. Okay, all right, but, I got it. But skip, I, I, maybe maybe a change of scenery. So you believe that the change of scenery might do him good? You're I, I not giving up on him. I think I've like, seen enough of his talent, and he does have talent. Right. I, I don't think he has a good feel for playing the position of quarterback, okay. or he's got it's that wince like I. I don't know how to command a locker room. Right. And, and so 
I'm pretty sure he's a lost cause. I wouldn't have taken him nearly that high. And you always make the case, if he'd gone in the second round or the third round, nobody would care. Nobody would care. They, they would be like, well, let's let's just hang in here. Right. You know, like, the, the, there wouldn't be the hysteria about no. it. Nobody but would be saying Jamarcus the, and Ryan Leaf. And, the, the, yeah. Skip, that's the second pick of the, draft. Pick of the so draft. So now you got to start, because what you try to do, Skip, is identify the guy. You see what the... Uh, but Jacksonville was able to do. They take Trevor Lawrence, and now we go out, we get a Zay Jones. They we get a Christian Kirk. We get all these pieces. And that because he, new kid can fly. Because he's on a rookie contract. Yep. Now you got to start that all over again. Now, but now Big Quinny Williams going to want his money. And, and by the way, to that point, on defense, the Jets got pieces. Yes! The sauce is going to so, be the rookie of the year. The, uh, okay. the guy on the, the other, other side is legit. Very good. The, uh, uh, Quinny Williams, his yeah. brother that played a lot. They got, Skip, yep. they got nice pieces on they that do. side of the ball. That's why the Jets fans are out of their minds, I, because they can see. You squandered and, a year. You did. And Garrett Wilson's, he's a stud. Yes. He, he could be, be yeah. one of the top, right. right? And so you've got pieces everywhere, and you you had a running back, Brees Hall, who got hurt. You hurt, right. He, listen, I watched him at Iowa State a lot. He can really tote the Skip, run. you can have all the pieces you want. Yep. But if you ain't got that piece in no, today's it game, now it used to be like when you start, first started yeah, covering it, yeah, defenses, you could, hey, quarterback, he didn't have to be great. Hey, you could play around him. Yeah. No, they're going to force that guy to play and, and not be a cheerleader. They're going to make him a participant. Yep, I agree. It's a sad story for these people, but I'm afraid they're going to have to get rid of him and he's going to have to try to start the, fresh somewhere right. else. I, I don't think anybody's going to give him a first round pick for him, Skip. I don't either. The Jets do have a stockpile of that, that they can do some things to go get another quarterback. Right. But they're back in the quarterback business. Right. Unless you think Mike White is the answer. And I'm just no, 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 no. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.